Hello, my name's Jonathan from Mental Help. Now today, we're going to be carrying on the discussion about Tourette's. I've been reading a lot of things on the internet, on the Facebook posts, the groups, and lots of feedback from my original examples. We don't call them lessons, because I'm not a teacher, but they're examples that you're more than welcome to follow along with me. And they've been very positive, to be honest with you. I'm surprised that people think what I've got to say is of some use. <laughs> a lot of the things that people have been asking me is how do you stop eye twitches and blinking and things like that and eye rolling it's apparently called. Well, the answer is I don't know yet, but I'm working on it. Bert, stop it, I'm recording. Oh. All right, I, feed, I fed you. God, dear. What I'm gonna to talk to you about today is neck twitches. Now, so far we've talked about, I've talked about the shoulder twitch. When I'm starting to get that shoulder twitch up there, every time I get the shoulder twitch, I'm going into this position and I've been doing it, especially when around friends' houses, watching telly or talking and stuff like that. And it might look a bit stern, but it's still better than, uh, <laughs> I'm taking the mick out of zombies. Uh, I'm taking the mick out of myself, actually. Ah, oh, dear, I, I do these silly things and then I, I have to cut them out. Sorry about that, and sorry if I've offended any zombies. Now, I'm going to this position here and holding my arms like that, okay? And it's, it's, it's working to an extent. Sometimes it's working and sometimes it's not, but it's because I've got to keep practicing at it. And it's hard to keep practicing because it takes effort. And let's face it, I'm lazy and I just want everyone to fix me. I don't want to do anything. I want, I want everything done for me because I'm a man. Uh, sorry if I've uh, labelled all men and been discriminatory towards men. I think I'll be so politically correct, but I am lazy, basically. It's me. So that's what I've been doing. Now, I get this neck twitch like this. I'm actually, that's what I would do. Oh, God, you've seen it on my videos. It's so annoying. Oh, it's so annoying. And um, just move that table. It's so, this is so unprofessional today. I don't care. I'm just going to, just going to, I'm not even going to bother editing it. Just gonna, just gonna be myself. Bert, stop it! I love Bert, and he's been, he's, Bert's on a diet. He's not very happy. But uh, he's, but he's little one I rescued, and he's a bit obese, so we had to have a little diet chat, and uh, he's continued chatting about it for the rest of the day. In fact, actually, Bert just goes around meowing all the time. I think he may have vocal tics, possibly Tourette's. Or else he's just a sort of mobile fire alarm or something, because all he does is meow continuously. He's quite happy, very happy, but just noisy. All right, let me get back onto the point. So I do this, it's, oh, oh God, it's awkward. And that's what I want to look at today. The substitution that you use is basically to, to tense your neck like this. I want to look a bit weird. Tense your neck, slight that, I'm tensing down here. I'm on camera, I'm nervous, and I'm conscious. Well, I hope I'm conscious, but I'm uh, conscious. Self-conscious, I'm conscious. Obviously, today, because it's Saturday, my the ADH part of me is, is playing up in, in my hyperactive, you know, all this sort of, what is, oh, all that crazy stuff's going on because and I'm bouncing all off the walls today and I haven't even been drinking Diet Coke. And, uh, Someone told me when I was 12 I'd grow out of this, so they're probably dead now. Yeah, anyway. But tensing your neck, you're putting your energy into that. Now, don't overdo it. Don't send me loads of comments saying that I've broken your neck or, you know, you've burst a blood vessel because I'm not a doctor. I'm just trying to do this myself. So you tense your neck and you keep some kind of tension here, okay? This is what the experts are actually saying. So. I've taken this from, you know, credible sites and I'm trying it on myself. I'm not trying it on you. You're allowed to try it on yourself. You can do anything you want to yourself. I'm going to turn the camera off and give it a go for a minute, starting from now. Okay, so I've done that now for a minute, probably just over. And I was actually thinking this wasn't really going to be any good and it wasn't going to work. But I can feel it's worthy of being called a substitute in my mind because actually whilst I was doing that, I didn't really want to do my head twitch or whatever you want to call it. Mind you, it was taking a lot of concentration to, to you know, really focus on this. 
And if I hadn't turned the camera and stuff off, I probably wouldn't have been able to do it. So I turned it off, I spent a minute, I focused and I really concentrated on what I was doing in the hope that the more I do it, the more naturally subconscious, like riding a bike, will be. I also, because I'm always inventing things and making things up and, you know, most of the things don't work, but I sometimes have some successes. I'm also wondering if a substitute could be something like this. If you're a table and you start to get your neck twitch, I'm wondering for me if this might work and I'm going to be trying this. And that's just to basically perch my chin there, and I know it's going to sound strange, but to pinch the skin under my, it's just the skin there, just to pinch it under there. Now, I invented this literally today. By doing that, it's less obvious than doing a neck twitch. And by pinching my skin there fairly firmly, it's actually not causing me pain, but it's a slight bit of discomfort. And that's making my mind focus on that. And also, I can't really move my chin because I've got it held in place there. I'm sure the experts don't say to do this, you know, because they're not stupid enough to think something like this up. But for me, I know that I have to be distracted and I don't necessarily want to be distracted by straining every muscle down here and trying to play musical statues. I actually just want to be more natural. So I'm going to also try that and then I'm going to patent it. And I don't think it's wrong for us to try to think of different ways that we can substitute our more embarrassing twitches and ticks for ones that are a little bit more unnoticeable. Thanks again and have a lovely Saturday. Enjoy. Goodbye and God bless.